Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am taking you through, in my personal opinion, the best to the worst bodysuits that I've personally tried. There are definitely a lot more in the better category than there are in the worst category. So the way that I'm gonna do this today is just go from best to okay to the worst. <laughs> So let's just start off with the best and I have my notebook here. The ones at the top of the list of course have to be the Skims bodysuits. You guys shouldn't be surprised like this is this is no surprise to anybody. I have three of them at the top so the contouring and lift bodysuits, the fits everybody and the essentials. These are all number one because they're all perfect for a different occasion. Number one number one has to be the contouring lift bodysuit. That one is phenomenal. That one is stunning. That one's beautiful. It is just like it does what it needs to do. She shows up and she shows out I absolutely love that bodysuit it has a built-in bra it's perfect for going out you want the coverage of a bra you want the lift of a bra but you don't want to wear a bra you don't want the bra straps to show you don't want the bra to show from the back this one's perfect because the bra is built in it sucks you in it smooths everything out and it just stays in place the entire night no matter what you're doing stunning stunning bodysuit and I absolutely love that one that one has to be number one for more everyday wear i would reach for the fits everybody bodysuits as well as the light essential bodysuits depending on what you want so the light essentials are perfect for every day but those are more geared towards being base layers i don't use them as a base layer but if you are the type of person who wants something to wear underneath that really just smooths everything out and works as a base layer then the light essentials are perfect for that like i said i wear it on its own and it looks great either way they don't come with thong bottoms they're more of just like a brief so if you're not really into briefs then you might not like the bottom of those but that's when you can go into the fits everybody ones the fabric for the fits everybody lines is just so soft smoothing like phenomenal fabric it is thinner for sure it's not compressing it's not meant to be a base layer at least i don't think it is don't quote me perfect for every day it has incredible stretch so those two i would say are great for every day skims has three that are on my top and those are the reasons why my number two brand with the best body suits is abercrombie for some reason i think one of the ones that i picked up is out of stock on abercrombie but you can purchase any bodysuit from the website and it will be so good i bought two of them i bought a short sleeve tank bodysuit from them and i also purchased a long sleeve like collared version they're both different fabrication the scuba fabric for the blue one is definitely a lot more smoothing smoothing and smooth feeling so i think that's the one that is actually out of stock but even the white one it looks so good you can wear it to anything you can wear it to work on a regular day the fabric doesn't feel like cheap quality the fabric feels like they wanted it to be comfortable like they wanted it to last the white one is ribbed so if you're the type of person who likes ribbed fabric then this one is great as well but for me i love fabric that's a little bit more on the smoother side which is why i prefer the blue one but both of them are great and the reason why i even mentioned these even though the blue one's no longer on the website is because no matter what bodysuit you get on Abercrombie you're gonna get something great now next number three has to be Shein Bay. I know I surprised myself with that one too because I just have the worst luck with Shein but I did a review of Shein Bay. like I'm wearing Shein Bay right now like this set is Shein Bay, but they have specific bodysuits that are so good you have to get the right ones though you can't just purchase any one of them so i purchased ones that are high neck and i also purchased ones that cut a little bit lower and have more of just a square neck the square neck ones didn't work out at all like so unflattering the straps were so uneven like they just didn't make any sense on my body but the high neck ones so good, so good, and so cheap. $13 for the solid tank that I picked up. You can't beat it, especially looking at my list where Skims and Abercrombie are the top ones. You know that those bodysuits aren't cheap, so $13, and for it to be as nice as it is. The ones from Shein Bay, I'm emphasizing Shein Bay, because if you get a regular bodysuit from Shein, it's not gonna be the same. I don't know what they did with the Shein Bay line, but they're trying to make it, at least to me, it seems like they're trying to make it a little bit more luxe, like a little bit more elevated when it comes to the colors and the fabrication the ones from Shein Bay are double lined they're smoother next 
JLUX label. I've mentioned JLUX label before and it's definitely at the top of my list just because I look to JLUX label when I'm looking for bodysuits that are not basic. They're perfect for things that look different. They always have such beautiful styles. Like that brand is just, it's stunning. The one that I have, I purchased years and years and years ago and I've worn it so many times. I've washed it so many times. Still super comfortable. The fabric still is holding up really, really well. And I still get compliments on it every single time that I wear it. So like I said, JLUX label is perfect for when you want a bodysuit that doesn't look like a regular bodysuit. If you don't want a t-shirt or you don't want a tank, you want something that looks different but it's going to be so flattering and be so comfortable. JLUX label is the way to go. Then the last one at the top of my list has to be Good American. The Good American Scuba, I think it's the scuba um, bodysuit that I picked up. I'll, I'll have the right name on the screen somewhere. That one, she killed it. She killed it. It looks so good on you. It smooths everything out. It makes everything look so seamless and it prevents any sort of bunching. I feel like the only thing about the Good American one that I tried was if you have a really long torso, then it might be a little bit problematic. But if you don't, then I think it'll be great. I purchased that one. I recommended it to a friend. She bought it and she loved it. And she definitely has a different body shape than I do. And she still really loved it. If you want something that that is going to feel, I don't want to say compress compressive, you know, to really just hold you in, to really smooth things out if you don't want like back fat or anything showing. This one does a really, really great job of smoothing everything out and just being so good. Now the bodysuit that's in the okay section of my list has to be the Zara bodysuits. I know they're a fan favorite and I have two of them. I purchased one in white and I purchased one in black. I loved them at first, but as I kept wearing them and washing them, it was just like, these things need to be thrown out. They just don't hold up well at all. They're not double lines throughout the entire bodysuit. They only have like a second layer of fabric at the top and then it cuts off right underneath your boobs. So the rest of the bodysuit is just single layered and I don't know why they do that. So sometimes the fabric underneath ends up bunching up a little bit. But as I kept washing it, the fabric, it got less soft and it started like forming like those little balls around the edges and I just like those I'm gonna have to throw out very very soon so that's why they're on the just okay section there's only $27 so they are pretty affordable so if you're good with just being able to wear them a few times and then having to repurchase them a year later then by all means but I'd rather go with the ones from Shein Bay than the ones from Zara than the worst and this is why I said you have to pay attention to the collection that you're purchasing from because Shein Bay is at my top but Shein is at the very bottom like just the regular Shein bodysuits oh my god I had to get rid of those I purchased one for one of my videos I had to throw it away it was just so bad single layered not flattering at all see-through the cheapest 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 fabric that you can find the edges were just like not comfortable at all it kept digging into my like the section under my arms when I would wear it and I would start sweating you could see the sweat so clear and I could tell that it was going to go so wrong the second that I washed it it was just such a terrible quality terrible quality never purchasing those bodies suits ever again like when you're shopping on the Shein website you really have to pay attention to what you're picking up and you really have to shop with intention because if you don't pay attention you're gonna get something so crappy and that's why that one is at the very bottom I don't even have it to show you guys because I threw it out after one wear it was horrible and that's it you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope that this was helpful I know there were a lot more things in the better category than in the worst categories but that's mainly because when I'm shopping for things I don't just pick up whatever looks cute anymore I shop a little bit more with intention I want something to be comfortable I want something to be pretty good quality I want something that's gonna hold up I want something that's not just gonna look cute so that's why I have a lot more things that are in the top than at the bottom and especially because I learned my lesson with everything that's up the bottom hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already and i will catch you guys in the next video bye